What's going on guys? So I'm doing a nice and easy beer today because I had told myself I was gonna go easy, but I didn't. So we are on the verge of Wakefest tomorrow and I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna be getting a bunch of footage and videos and pictures of the 120 breweries or as many breweries as I can that will be present at Wakefest tomorrow. So super excited for that. But we had gone to Box Elder and there was a nice little pre-party there for all the breweries that have come into town. So it got a little wild. We had some, I had the Won't Back Down from Deciduous. I had the Happy Places from Magnify. Uh, Mari had the Spy Dolphin from Dancing Gnome and she had the Three Little Birds from Sand City. So, you know, we, we, we're on a nice little buzz right now. So I have to take it nice and easy. So I'm gonna be going with the Six Point Citrus Jammer today. So a little bit about this beer. You know them, you love them. Yeah, I've done many of a review on Six Point and I will link the previous informational video in the description that you can check out if you so please. But a little bit about this bad boy today. So the Citrus Jammer, it is an ale brewed with sea salt and citrus added. It is 4.0% ABV, so very light. That's why I decided to go with this one before I went to sleep. And they have the description as Goza. Squeeze it, salt that rim. We're talking about that six point salty tango with a twist. The tangy waves of Jammer with just the right amount of lemon and lime juice. Time for some vitamin J. This ale was brewed with hand harvested sea, hand harvested sea salt and is best served in a glass. So super stoked to try this. And the typical Gozo is a strata medium amber ale and it is typically cloudy. The, the contemporary Gozo is typically cloudy from some set suspended yeast. A wide variety of herbal spice, floral or fruity aromas other than found in the traditional Leipzig style Gozo are present in harmony with other aromas. Salt, table salt, the character is traditional in low amounts, but may vary from absent to present. Body is low to medium low. Low to medium lactic acid character is evident in all examples as sharp, refreshing sourness. So your typical is 4.4 to 5.4% ABV. So this one is a little bit on the lower side of that. And it's typically 10 to 15% IBU. And you'll typically serve these in a Pilsner glass or a Pokal. So, you know, just, I, I feel like this will be the most refreshing thing after those IPAs and styles that we had earlier. So, thanks time to drink it. And look at that color. So, the, the description was right on point. It is a straw colored ale and very nice head retention as you can see up top and the carbonation is there it's not crazy carbonated but you, you can tell it's there so straight up from the description that six point gave off the can i get salt i get lemon and lime juice that, that i feel like i'm going to be drinking a a an, an ale that was served by a little girl on the side of the road. That is really deceiving. So it does smell as it tastes. The alcohol is not present whatsoever. Legit, it tastes like Someone hand squeezed some lemons, hand squeezed some limes, threw in a little salt and just mixed it up. Legit, that's what it tastes like. I could probably, I mean, on a hot summer day, legit, if I was like sitting by the pool and just hanging out with some friends, I would use this as a base and then throw in some some heavier alcohol. This would be my base. Very easy to drink, very refreshing, very crisp. I mean, you could drink this mowing the lawn. You can drink this hanging out by the pool. You could drink this on the beach. 
the lemon, the lime, the citrus is, is very refreshing, very crisp, super easy to drink. It's it's stupid easy to drink. And I mean, honestly, like pairing wise, I would do this with either some gelato, some citrus gelato flavors, or I could do this with just like a nice fruit plate, but with something like with like some mangoes or strawberries, you know, something tart, something sweet. Or honestly, this would go bomb with some ceviche. I, like I would use this as the ceviche sauce and I'd mix that in there. Or I'd base some fish in that, like maybe some nice tilapia or I'd go, oh, some corvina. I think that would be bomb with this. I'd use using this as the base for that. But yeah, I mean, very low ABV. You, you can barely tell any alcohol is present, but it's extremely easy to drink. And I could definitely throw this back all day. But honestly, I'd probably have three or four of these because I can only take so much of that citrus and so much of that lemon and lime. But again, I mean, super easy to drink and this would be a dope mixer for your, for your hard, harder alcohol. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you stay tuned tomorrow. I'll be posting pictures of my story tonight of what went on at Box Elder. And if you stick around for tomorrow, I'm gonna to be posting pictures all day and videos and doing all that good stuff for what's going on at Wakefest. All the dope breweries from around the world and all around the United States that are gonna be there, 120. So, and then I think they said that the top eight on rate beers lists of the top 100 breweries around the world are gonna be there. So definitely stay tuned for that. And you know, before I go, I always like to give love to who came and showed love today. Of course, the beautiful Unseen Creatures, always uh, sending that emoji love. I got the Total Cookbook Attic. How's it going? Silver HR, dude, new, new dude who's opened up a brewery soon, so stay tuned for that. Of course, my lovely wife. And Omarito18, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for tuning in. Guys, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I know it's late, and you guys still st stuck in around and, and tuned in, so thank you so much for that. And... I'm gonna go finish this and then tuck myself in because I have to wake up early to get a run in so I can work off that beer that I drank tonight and prepare my body for the havoc that is going to be brought upon it tomorrow. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends to let them know what's going on, what we're doing here. If you have any beers or brews you'd like me to check out, please let me know, I'd be more than happy to. You know I always love trying out some new breweries. And you know, Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all over the place. Just check me out, Thirsty Samurai Piggy or Hadar, you know, my actual normal name. And coming in at the end, my dude, Om Omar, what's going on, brother? He's going to teach me about my, my new gimbal that I got so I can, I can mess around with that tomorrow. And guys, again, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic night, have a fantastic weekend, and stick around for tomorrow because it is going to be wild. So much beer, so little time. Till the next time, guys. Have a great night. Cheers.